The human mind. 600 miles of synaptic fiber, five and a half ounces of cranial fluid, 1,500 grams of complex neural matter, a three-pound pile of dreams. But I'll tell you what it really is. It is the ultimate battlefield and the ultimate weapon. The wars of this modern age, the psychic age, are all fought somewhere between these damp, curvaceous undulations. From this day forward, you are all psychic soldiers, paranormal paratroopers, mental marines who are about to ship out on the adventure of their lives. This is our beachhead. And this is your landing craft. You shall engage the enemy in his own mentality. You shall chase his dreams. You shall fight his demons. You shall live his nightmares. And those of you who fight well, you will find yourselves on the path to becoming international secret agents. In other words, psychonauts. The rest of you, will die! <laughs> oh, Maury. Children, you are not going to die. Well, if you're not a psycho not, then you might as well be dead. They told me this was a summer camp. Ah, <laughs> oh, Dogen. Don't worry about old Coach Oleander. I've been coming here for years. And trust me, nothing ever happens. Yeah, Dogen, Lily's right. You don't got nothing to worry about. Except for that giant monster in the lake I was telling you about. Bobby Zilch, I told you to stop scaring people with that ridiculous old legend. I don't want the kids to be afraid to go out at night and walk alone on the perfectly safe paths of Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp. And we don't want to scare our special guests, Superstar Psychonauts Sasha Nine and Mia Vodello. Whoa! Light Monster! Formation. <laughs> Resisting. Quick, bring it over here. What is it? It's just a little boy. What's your name, darling? I'll find out. Get, get in. Ugh. My name. Starts with a D. Is Rasputin. But everybody calls me Raz. Please don't kill us, Lake Monster! Compelling. Armored like a tank! Sorry I'm late. I don't want to disrupt your briefing, Agent Oleander. Agents 9, Vodello, please, continue. Where do you think you're going? You've broken into a highly classified remote government training facility. I know. Isn't it great? Listen, why don't I just sit over here quietly with my fellow psychedets? Hey, how's it going? I like your hat. We need to have this young man taken from here immediately. I'll call his parents. What? But don't you train psychonauts here? Yes, darling, but... To soar across the astral plane. To wage psychic warfare against the enemies of free thought. That is what I wrote on the front of the pamphlet. Those words are why I'm here, Coach Oleander. Do you remember what you wrote on the inside of that pamphlet? You were born with a special gift. But the people around you treat it like a curse. Your mother is afraid of you. And your father looks at you with shame in his eyes. Come to Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp, and you can show them all. Back home, your powers make you a loner, an outcast, a circus freak. But in this dojo, 
in this psychic dojo, they make you a hero. Get that soldier a bunk! Now, darling, you can stay here for a few days until your parents come for you, but we can't let you participate in any paranormal training without your parents' consent. I'm sorry. Wowie, you're so lucky. You get to go home soon. Home? Back there, I was just like you were, Dogen. Punished by my own family for having powers I never asked for. But here, I have a chance to be something, to make a difference. They may come for me, Dogen, but they'll be looking for Raz, the boy. What they're going to find, what they don't expect, is Raz, the Psychonaut. And, and, and then you'll make their heads explode? No. Do you do that? No. Well, once kinda, but... Now I wear this special hat. Want to try it on? No, no, no. But he has mental defenses like I've never seen in someone so young. If I could just get him in my lab for some experiments, I'm sure he could withstand more than the others. That kid's one in a million, Nine. But I'm not gonna let you turn him into one of your guinea pigs. I've got big plans for that mind. All right, settle down in here. Big day tomorrow. I want to see each and every one of you runs in my classroom at 0600 hours on the dot. I'm the early bird, and you're the worms. Got it? Now, lights out. Hey, Raz, hurry up. You don't want to be late for basic braining. Woohoo! Basic braining is the best class ever. Woohoo! So, you're dating Elka now. Does that mean we won't hang out as much? Shoot, I reckon things ain't gonna change one bit. Doggone it, partner. No woman's never gonna... Hey, you're gonna make my boyfriend late for class. Come on, James. Come. On. I'm telling you for the last time, no. I would never do that. I could never... Kill everyone. Oh, hi, Raz. Squirrel trouble? They're liars is all. Whatever they tell you, it's a lie. I'll take your word for it. You going to class? Yeah, I'll meet you up there. As soon as I get these guys to shut up. Where are you going, Maloof? Shh! I snuck out! That class is a death trap for crazy people! Listen, the coach is strong. At the start of class, he pulls you into his mind, and then there's nothing you can do about it. But once you're in, you can use these smelling salts to sneak out. Take mine. I don't need them anymore. I'm calling my parents to come get me before I get hurt. Too late! Bobby! Ah! Hey, kid! You owe me five arrowheads for this week's protection service. Cough it up, my loser, or you'll be coughing up bloody tears. Hey, leave him alone. I heard a rumor that you were raised in the circus. Well, let me put this in terms you'll understand. I'm the strong man around here. Really? Because you look more like the cotton candy. <laughs> Benny, put this kid's death on my to-do list. Come on, we'll see him in class. Yeah, we'll settle this on the battlefield.
Coach Oleander. I'm reporting for basic braining. Son, do you realize that to take my course, I will have to pull you into my mind, and you will have to relive every bullet-scarred memory of every battle I have ever faced? It won't be pretty. Are you sure you wouldn't rather run around a bit more in the sunshine first? Well, maybe I will explore a bit more before. Just so I'm prepared for class. No hurry, no hurry. Enjoy your childhood before it's ripped away from you, son. So, this is it. The mental world. It looks like a dentist office. A mental dentist office? It's a recruiting office, kids. And I'm here to recruit you for the greatest job in the world. Being a psychonaut. It's about fighting a war for mental freedom. Are you ready to face torture, insanity, and death? Because this is your last chance to chicken out. Oh, me, sir. I'd like to chicken out, please. Too late, soldier. But you said... There's only one way out of here. Fighting. I want one of you chickens to sock me square in a jaw. But I warn you, once you do, the war is on. Charge! What kind of obstacle course is this? That kid just got killed. A mental obstacle course, you bleeding heart. He's not dead. His astral projection just got kicked out of my mind. And I'll kick your astral projection out of here too if you don't get moving right now! We can't get past this! This is stupid! Hmm. Looks like a test. There's probably a secret, more advanced route. What's that supposed to mean? You think you're more advanced than me, new kid? Sorry, what? I'm not stupid. You're stupid. The coach is stupid. The whole camp is stupid. That thing flying at you is stupid. What's flying at me? Whoa. Bobby Zeltz's foot! That's what! You stupid new kid! Yeah! <laughs> oh! Thanks for saving me. Well, actually, I was saving this plant. Huh. Never seen one so meaty before. I have. It's been appearing in this creepy nightmare I keep having. You're having nightmares? Oh, I've been reading about how to fix those. Will you let me see one? Hmm, no. Hold it right there, son! Now just what in the Sam Hill do you think you're doing in there? I was just looking for a way out. Oh. Sorry about that. Didn't think you'd get to the end so fast. Dang, I didn't think you'd get to the end at all. You surprised me out there, kid. Here, you've earned this. Your first Psychonaut Merit Badge. But I'm always glad to see a soldier come back from the field alive. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta go back in. I left some good men back there. Way to make us look bad in there. You are in trouble now. Bobby Zilch ain't happy. You better watch yourself, Goggolicious. What's that, hair boy? You want a piece of me? Hey, Brainiacs, settle down. Why? You worried I'm gonna hurt your boyfriend? No, because Sasha Nine is standing right behind you. Your performance, young cadet, was outstanding. I'd like you to report to my lab for some advanced training. Ooh, 
Raz's spaz is gonna be in a special class. Benny, remind me to give him a special beating later, okay? These tests are unauthorized, though, so I can't actually ask you to come. But if you happen to drop in, well, what could I do? Let me just give you this. Remember, your talent will always set you apart, Rasputin. Sometimes isolation is a good thing. It can lead to important discoveries. Wait! I don't even know what your lab is! Is this some kind of test? Sometimes isolation is a good thing. It can lead to important discoveries. And now I'm hearing things. Great. You know, a nutcracker might be faster. Tonight, when this baby is full of fine ladies, I'm going to see everything. How are you going to fill that nut with ladies? No, dude. The girl's cabin. I've got a man on the inside. I get it. You're using clairvoyance. You grabbed one of the squirrel's nuts, and now you're using clairvoyance on it to form a mental link and see what the squirrel sees. Um, could you say acorns instead of nuts if you repeat that to anybody else? Teach me how to do that. Hey, I paid a little bit of attention in class, but not that much. What you need is an expert in clairvoyance, where I am merely an expert in the ladies. Okay, I'm gonna close my eyes, right? And then I'm gonna start to count to a hundred, okay? And then you guys hide. Everybody got it? It's hide and seek, Vernon, not hide and calculus. We've all got it. I got it. You start counting, and then I go hide in that bush. Great. What? Milka, you're a genius. Come on, Duggan. Hold on. This reminds me of a story. It's about Cowdig. Hello? Bad. You guys are good. No passing. But I need to get to Sasha 9's secret lab. Maybe you should have thought of that before. I did think of that before. That's why I'm here now. Exactly. Now you gotta pay the toll. One arrowhead. Pay up. I found this thing. Is that what you're talking about? Yep, that's an arrowhead. How'd they get here? Frankie, the new kid can't be this dumb, right? The camp's built on an Indian burial ground and... Oh my gosh! Indians buried their dead here? Ew! I hope not. No, stupid. They buried their arrowheads here. They're hidden underground, but they let out a little gas once in a while. Just like Coach Oleander. So if you see any of that stuff, just pull them right out. Like truffles. Anyway, let me have one of yours. Hey, Lily. Do you know where Sasha 9's secret lab is? Secret? It's printed on your map. Duh. Oh, I knew that. I was just curious if you knew where Sasha 9's lab was. Because I do. Uh-huh. Hey, you're that new kid, ain't you? Well, I'm doing some advanced training right now, as a matter of fact. So I don't think new kid is really a name that you want to get too used to saying. Hold on there. You're not doing Sasha 9's advanced training that he does in his secret underground lab, are you? Hidden deep within the iron walls of the GPC, where no one can hear you screaming? Why, yes, I am. Sakes alive. Well, nice knowing you. You? Looking at me? Maybe you should try getting over yourself? There were a lot of other people on that stage besides you. No, just now. In the woods. Hmm, <laughs> no. It must have been something else. You don't smell like pond scum. Nice. You should write greeting cards. There was some sort of 
shadowy being out there, lurking, watching. I know of only one creature who fits that description. It likes to hide in dark places, silently watching unsuspecting children from a distance. Really? Who? You, tree sitter! <laughs> Thanks. I thought I was gonna have to eat my own arm. What is this thing? It's a GPC, a geodesic psychoisolation chamber. Oh man, cool! Cool? Do you have any idea what this does? Something cool? Uh, no. It's a six sensory deprivation tank, a hermetically sealed metaphysical hot box. It's solitary confinement for psychics. Nasty. And the coach locked you inside it? Nah, the staff hasn't put any kids in the GPC since the 50s. Bobby threw me in here. Bully and dwarf accomplice should assault own size or larger only. While in cooler, perhaps notice gigantic bear with skin where hair should be? I didn't see anything in there. That's the whole point. Hmm. Just so. Empty now. Good luck, small ones. Hey, wait! I've been hearing a lot about head explosion, and I was wondering... Science, Rasputin. That is what we practice down here. Not parlor tricks. If you are serious about exploring the possibilities of your mind, step up to the Brain Tumbler and we'll begin. Brain Tumbler? So, what's this hairdryer thing do? Ah, you're ready for the Brain Tumbler. With this device, we will send you deep into your own psyche, where you should find unparalleled insight and power. Excellent! Tumble away. Now just relax. This will not hurt. Unless something really very bad happens. Rasputin, can you hear me? Sasha? Where am I? You are inside your own mind, but I'm not sure where. Tell me, what can you see? I see a run-down gypsy caravan. Do you recognize it? Yes. It's where I was born. I see. Compelling. Rasputin, are you okay? What do you see now? I see a small, bunny-like animal thing. Hmm. An unfamiliar animal entity in a dream often represents a primal fear or memory. Follow it, and it should lead you somewhere important. Check. Okay, Mr. Bun. You and I are gonna be tight. Wherever you go, I go. Like two peas in a... Hey! Come back here! Uh... Sasha? What is it? Another bunny? No. This is more of a super scary flaming-eyed demon kind of deal. Oh. Hmm. What? Okay, I'm pulling you out of there. Just give me a second. Uh, Sasha? Hold on, I'm still getting some unusual interference. It's fascinating. As if someone else... Agent 9? Sorry. Almost ready. Sasha! Ah! Hmm. That should not have happened. We need to try that again. Oh. I don't think I need to be in the tumbler with the glowy eye guys anymore. Suit yourself. You know, in many tribal societies, learning to defeat the monsters you see in your dreams is considered a rite of passage. I can train you to fight. Come see me when you're ready. Hey, Lily. Going for the advanced training? What's the rush? Are you kidding? I only have a few days to become a psychonaut or I lose my shot forever. Look, Raz, I hate to burst your bubble. But the Psychonauts are not what they used to be. Times have changed. The world just doesn't need us anymore. The world does too need Psychonauts. Right here at this very camp, in fact. I think there are several fishy things that need psychic investigating. You are so immature. And cute. When are you gonna just shut up and kiss me? Shut up and do what? Oh, I didn't know you could. Uh, I gotta go. Bye, so embarrassing!
phobia? <gasps> Me too! Huh? No. Well, yes. I just... My family has this problem with water. It's a bunch of hooey anyway. Some old gypsy curse about how we're all supposed to die in water. If you can believe that. Oh! I thought it was about the whole thing with the brain-eating fish that walks out of the lake at night to hunt for victims. Well, see ya! Um, hey Raz. I saw you and Lily talking in the coach's class, and I was wondering, were you asking her to go with you? What? No! I'm here to train. No distractions. Excellent! Bye! Hey, Maloof. Um, you want some help getting that off your head? If I take it off, Bobby might just put something worse on it, like a dirtier pair of underpants or an animal with teeth. I'm just gonna wait here until camp's over and my pop comes back to pick me up. Come on, things can't be that bad. So you've got a jock strap on your... Fish tied to head. Very clever. Bear investigates, gets wrestled. We'll wait in case Bear wins. If any Bear shows up, feel free to cut right in. Anyway, it is that bad. First Bobby and Benny locked me in the girls' shower, then they wouldn't let me out of the toilet. Now they won't let me in any of the toilets. And in between, there was a lot of punching. No. Then we locked you in the GPC. Maloof forfeits place in Bear wrestling line. As repayment for courtesy, bullying now forbidden. All bullies acknowledge, please. Get bent, Kami. I'm gonna take your... Call next move, Deadly Nelson. When screaming starts, eyeball may pop out of bully head. Standing back suggested. Okay! I won't touch him! Jeez! Okay, I got it. Check it out. Excellent. Well, my ass is covered. Are you sure you are ready to do this? It could be dangerous. Yes. Are you gonna pull me into your mind like the coach did? Hmm. <laughs> no offense, but it's time you saw what an organized mind looks like. Welcome to my mind. Huh. It's so empty. Uh, I mean... There's more here than meets the eye, but I've learned to keep it under strict control, and that's what I'm going to teach you. Control your feelings, your fears, your anger. You must learn to control them, focus them, concentrate them, and release them. As therapy? No, as firepower. Say something hideous and horrible jumps out at you. Something so disgusting that it simply must die. Ah, oh, it's so tacky. I can't look directly at it. But I control those feelings. Focus them, concentrate, and release. And the world is a better place. Your turn. Come to Papa. Raz, what have you done? This is not control. This is chaos. I'll try to fix it. You stay here and keep the numbers under control. Blocked off all of Sasha's sensor outlets. I can't wait to tell him. Young man, I hope you have learned a lesson here today. Yes, I have. <laughs> 
that shooting things is fun and useful. No, that once you lose control of your own mind, it's very hard to get it back. Yes, one's thoughts must be 100% controlled at all times. Well, no. Actually, if you try to completely suppress your undesirable feelings, they'll build and build and eventually explode. Oh, so, uh... What would happen if you were to, say, completely block off all your sensor outlets? Well, there would be a build-up of sensor energy within that would, uh, eventually... Run, Rasputin, very fast. You are my own creation! I command you to stop! Rasputin, it's time to earn your merit badge! So, is this where I get a speech and learn another lesson? No, here's your merit badge. Let us never speak of this again. Little boy, I am sorry to say that you have a very serious mental problem. The trouble originates in this area, here. The area that we in the medical profession like to refer to as the brain. You see, son, it's just no good. I hate to be so blunt, but you have the insanity of a manatee. I know. People are always saying that. What do you think's wrong with my brain, Doctor? Well, how should I know? I'm a dentist. But here's what I do know. If a tooth is bad, you pull it! But my teeth are fine. Yep! Mad brain's got to come out, boy! It's the quickest way to cure what you've got. Insanity of the mind! But I don't want to... Shh, 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 Now hold still. This will only hurt until your brains come flying out. Dogen, are you okay? I had the strangest machine-induced dream about you. TV? Well, first of all, Sasha Nine invited me down to a secret lab, and... TV? He's completely brainless. The dream was true. Dogen, don't worry. I know where your brains are. They're in... Like this crazy dream thorn bush straight jacket tower place. Aggie sack. You go to the TV lounge. I'm on the case. I just need a little more advanced training to prepare. Check it out, Admiral. I'm an oarsman, first class. Hey, it looks like all those weeks in the canoe simulator really paid off. Uh, yes, sir, Admiral, sir. Well, let's get you afloat. There she is. And there you are, darling. Don't worry, I got in contact with your father and he's going to be here tomorrow to pick you up. My father? Oh, go to go. The race is starting. Lily! Oh, hey, Raz. Listen, I made you something. It's kind of stupid, but... They stole Dogen's brains. No, he's just like that. I had a nightmare where this mad scientist guy said he was going to take them out, and... Was it a creepy-looking freak with a shower cap and a stainless steel three-pronged claw? Hey, that's my nightmare. So it's not just me. But how? And why all the meat? I don't know. But I think it's time I find out where this is coming from. Let's rendezvous tonight at the old boathouse for debriefing. This is so cool! Yeah! It feels like that time in True Psychic Tales 314 where... Shut up! Agent Vodello? I have been ordered to report here for levitation training. I've already done the coach's obstacle course, and Sasha showed me how to shoot. You know, I'd expect that sort of recklessness from Orso, but Sasha? Agent Nine said you were the most powerful levitator the Psychonauts had. Sasha said that? Really? I didn't know he noticed. Well, you know, 
I only work with the best teachers. Flirt? Okay, let's party. Look who made the scene. Agent Vodello? Where are you? On TV, of course. Where I was always meant to be. I mean, look at my hair, darling. How can hair this fabulous not be on TV? Now, darling, the best way to learn levitation is to just try it. I'm going to give you a levitation learner's permit. It will only work while you're in my mind. After you finish my course, I'll give you the real thing, baby. First, you gotta show me you know how to use it. Who's that I see? It's Rasputin, the rolling rock star, in the flesh! And just in time, the party was dying without you, darling. Here, I have a little party favor for you. Cute. Don't be a stranger, darling. Thank you, Agent Vodello. Now it's back to the lab to save Dogen. Dogen's not in the lab, sweetie. He's watching TV in the lodge with the other children. I meant the dream Dogen from my brain tumbler vision. If I can find out what's happening to him, Maybe that would give me a clue about who stole real Dogen's brain. Oh, I'm afraid he's just like that. Excuse me, Agent Vodello? Hello, darling. Are you back for another dance? No, I'm here to warn you. I think there's a monster in the lake. You mean the hideous hulking longfish of Lake Oblongada? Darling, every summer camp has its stories, but that's all they are. This one ate Dogen's brains. Now stop spreading rumors. I know Dogen seems a little naive, but he's actually a very powerful psychic. You know what it's like to stand out, Rasputin, so maybe you could help him out, eh? Well, I just wanted to stop by and say hi. Oh, how nice. Isn't it a lovely day? It just seems like on a beautiful day like this, nothing could go wrong, you know? TV! Hacky Sack! Yes, Hacky Sack. Oh no! They're all brainless! Hi, Raz. Vernon, you're okay! Yeah, we're great. Me and my pals Kitty and Frankie are just hanging out telling stories and watching the boob tube. TV! Vernon, look at them! They're zombies! It did seem kind of weird when they let me get this close to them. And then they didn't mind when I talked all through the show. Kitty even agreed to go on a date with me, more or less. We're gonna play hacky sack. Keep an eye on them, Vernon. I'm gonna go figure out what's causing this. Roger that, Raz. Did you ladies know one of the bloodiest battles of... Dogen! TV? Yeah, good idea. You rest here while I find your brains. Coach, out in the woods, I saw... Huh? What? Sir, we need to get a containment team in the area stat. I've spotted a UPE. A UPE? Yes, an unregistered paranormal entity. Possibly aquatic in nature. I know what a UPE is, son. I just don't know how you know. From True Psychic Tales, issue 424, sir. Where Sasha 9 fought that clairvoyant grizzly bear? Ha! <laughs> Comic books. This thing was real and huge and, and it smelled all smelly. Save your fish stories for the boathouse, boy. Now, dismissed! <laughs> Let me go! What to do with small bully assistant? Geez, I don't know. Could you put him in that deadly Nelson you were talking about? Could. On such tiny opponent, all blood might drain out ear holes. Ah! Shut up, Benny! On other hand, 
Blood from constricted trunk could rush to tongue. And? Tongue swells, pops, moves blood drains back down throat. Interesting. Less mess that way. Mouth stuffed with giant tongue can't scream. So quieter. Ah! Uh, shut up, Benny. You have something less drastic? Uh, could use half deadly Nelson. What's that? Like deadly Nelson, but less dying. How much less? Maybe half. What happens the other half of the time? Opponent leaves. Spends the rest of short life praying for death. Hey! Can you hear me down there? Maloof? Shut up, Benny. Seriously, Maloof. I apologize. A call off you, goon, and I'll never bother you again. Ever! The thing is, Benny, you're never gonna bother me again either way. So you're gonna have to offer something a lot better than that. Like what? Any ideas, Mikhail? No one you think about giant hairless beer? No. Out of ideas. Preparing Nelson. Well, wait, wait! Uh, maybe. Uh, yeah, m maybe I did see something like that. Uh, give me a minute to think. You ready to talk, Benny? Hold on. It'll come to me. You know, Chloe, for a chick whose face I can't see because she's always wearing a helmet, you're pretty cute. I'm not human, Earth Primate. But you are the girl model of whatever it is you are, right? Affirmative. At this point, that's totally close enough. Man, what smells like butt? Oh, hey, Nils. How about you and your butt and its odor take a hike before I puke? But... It'd be a real shame if you had to leave your butt here because it was anchored to my foot. Now bathe it! Hi, Chloe. <laughs> How's it, uh, I mean, <laughs> you know, what's up and stuff? Bobby, we need to work on you a little. Ah! Why are you screaming? All right, I remember. Uh, ah! Oh, good boy. There's that pesky brain. Here's a tissue. Now, don't you feel better, my dear lad? TV? Of course! Right here! And this bad tooth. We'll just drop it in the old garbage chute. Now, don't chew solid foods for six hours! Lily! Nightmare? Or a plan? Or both? Wait a minute! Rasputin, I'm sorry. I had to abort the experiment. Something unbelievably urgent has come up and I must leave immediately. I know! You'll never believe- Hold that thought. In a rush. Official psychonaut business. Wait! So is this! Official psychonaut, eh? You forgot your- Hmm. Hey, that white room. I know. It's from Oleander's mind. I think I was in the coach's dream that whole time. Ever since I stepped through the static in the caravan, it felt funny. I knew I wasn't obsessed with meat. But Maury is. And was stealing psychic brains to arm a fleet of deadly tanks, apparently. I've got to tell Lily. She's waiting for me down by the boathouse. Down by the... water? Uh-oh. Better hurry. Oh. 
Bobby! Uh-oh. Look, I can explain. TV. TV. Jeez, it sounds like you caught a bad cold. Maybe. But listen, I traced the psychic interference back to Coach Oleander's radio. He's been broadcasting his insane plot all over camp in his sleep. So he's really kidnapping children and stealing their brains to make weapons. Yes! Isn't that great? What? How is that great? Because this is an honest-to-goodness psychic emergency! And Sasha's not here. He left on some official psychonauts business. Mia left a note saying the same thing! Lily, a deranged man-man is building an army of psychic death tanks to take over the world, and there's no one who can stop him, except for you and me! Oh my god! Let's make out! Uh, what? Sorry, I'm just so excited. Since you showed up, Raz, things are so much more exciting. Sinister death plots, mad scientists, hideous monsters. Make out? How long have I ignored what this camp had to offer? Everything's new to me now, thanks to you. I mean, look at this flower. You mean, like, kiss? How many years have I been coming here and I've never even noticed a cool flower like this before? <laughs> Get him! I... can't. I can't swim. Well, then use the bathysphere at the end of the dock. Quick! While the flipper prints are still glowing! Are you coming? I don't know how to drive that thing. Uh, I can't. I have to, um, uh, check on the other children. Yes, yes. If the brains are out, they'll need supervision. And possibly refrigeration. And how can you not know how to operate a bathysphere? Haven't you ever been to summer camp before? I'll get a move on before that girl gets overly digested. No one gets hurt, fish. Man, it's gonna be hard to find a new place to give you lumps. Ah, oh, poor little thing. That poor little thing just tried to kill me about eight different ways. Well, that's not its fault. This was once just a normal-sized lungfish, minding its own business in a mucus-lined air bubble beneath a semi-dry leg bed. But judging by the work done on it, I suspect Mori has mutated it, accelerated its growth, and has placed an implant in its brain to make it do his evil bidding. Whoa. Poor little thing. Yeah, go inside there and try to smash the implant. Use the psycho portal I saw you steal from Sasha's lab. Oh, uh, yeah. That works on big scary monsters? Oh, monster schmonster. That thing's more afraid of you than you are of it. Now get in there!
Ah, top of the morning to you, ma'am. And good day to you, Officer O'Longfish. How are you today? Oh, damp and happy, can't complain. And what are you and the wee one up to on this lovely day? Oh, just obeying the law as always. All posted directives followed to the letter. Ah, good to hear. Not a one of us want any trouble, that's for sure. Ah! Oh, Gagalo! Gagalor, down here. Excuse me, were you talking to me? Ah, ow, my ears. I'm sorry. Ah, oh my God. Ah. Are you okay? He's dead. Oh geez, I'm sorry. Don't worry, every member of the Resistance is prepared to die fighting the tyranny of Kochamara. What's Kochamara? He's a giant monster like you, Gagalor. He brainwashed and enslaved almost everyone in Lungfishopolis. That stinks. So hey, have you seen any other humans around here? I'm looking for a girl called Lily. The government archives might have some information about your young girlfriend, Gagalor. Well, I don't know if she's really my girlfriend. I mean, I think she... I only meant that she is your friend who was a girl, Gagalor. To access the archives, we must first destroy the broadcast tower Kochamara uses to control the populace. Check. I'll go smash that, then. Wait, Gagalore! In order to reach the tower, you'll need to pass through that wall of lasers. But you'll never make it through the lasers without our help. So are you gonna start helping soon? First, I need you to do something for the Resistance. Punch a hole in that prison and free my comrades! Freedom! 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 hoo Now, how about getting me past those gates? Right. We stole the shield power module from Coach Amara. It's too big for any of us to operate, but it should work for you. Hey, is this gonna upset Kochamra and all your little brainwashed neighbors? No, I doubt it. Uh, no, no. So, knocking down the prison and then breaking this laser shield thing? Nobody's gonna get mad about that and start shooting at me. No! Uh, maybe one guy would. But what is even an entire navy of lungfish against the might and revolutionary zeal of Gagalore? Wait, what navy? Meet us at the dam, Gagalore. For freedom! Freedom! <laughs> freedom! 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 So, this big monster, is that the best you could do? We were short on time, and he is good at smashing things. Doesn't look like much to me. Come on, let's blow this joint. Hey, you're welcome. Sorry about him, Gargalor. He's been in prison a long time. He's the only pilot the Resistance has, and he has an excellent plan. Meet us at the dam so we can put it into action. The destruction and terror continue as the hulking, godless child beast carves a bloody swath through our helpless city. Our noble, all-volunteer navy has been surprised only by the senseless lust for mayhem that seeps from the twisted black lump of a heart in this creature, still known only as Gogalore. Though it loathes violence in all its forms, the navy has no choice but to activate its anti-monster turrets, which it guarantees are 100% monster-proof. Not get caught stealing children. Ha! Ah, now you see the genius of our plan, Gogalor. First we print flyers, then we spread them all over town with my blimp. Winning over the hearts and minds of Lungfishopolis in as soon as six months. Six months? You don't like our plan, you can come up with another one. Yes, we are busy. We have to select cardstock and then find a decent but inexpensive printer within the week. <laughs> 
We're here with the star of the popular sitcom Trouble in the Bubble, Buddy Finn. Buddy, what's your take on the Gogalore situation? Is he just misunderstood? No way! I hate Gogalore. I can't imagine any one of my fans siding with the monster. He hates everything Lungfish care about. Air, water, family, the economy. Buddy, you'll be happy to know that the Navy has decided to pull out what they're most famous for. Airplanes! <laughs> so rest assured, we can all look forward to Gogalore's imminent death. And to seeing you, buddy, every Thursday night at 8, right here on LBC. Thanks! And I'd just like to add that if anyone kidnaps a human child, they should take them quickly under the lake to the abandoned insane asylum. Gogalore, come in. We have commandeered these vessels in your name. We can put them in position to help you cross Kochamara Channel to get to Kochamara Island and destroy Kochamara Tower! The thing is that, um, although we have the utmost faith that you will soon contain the area, Gogalore, we, uh... We've decided to maintain our position out here. Just until you clear the area of all hostiles. Yes. For insurance reasons, Gogalore. Yes, that, and for freedom. Hey everyone, here comes Kochamara! of this freaky toad. I don't need him to nab children for me anymore. I've got the brain of a little girl back in my lab that's strong enough to power a whole army of psycho blaster death tanks. Huh? <laughs> what? You've got the brain of a little girl? <laughs> I said in my lab. I think you've got the muscles of a little girl too. <laughs> <sighs> Good one. It is I, the creature whose spirit was once, um, <clears throat> over here, behind you. Yes. Oh. The creature whose spirit was once enslaved by the evil one. You have unchained my soul, and now I shall repay you, powerful human child. Oh, uh, great. Well, okay, show me what you did to my friend Lily. By the drowned spirit of Oblongata, it is done. <laughs> when it is your wish to travel across the lake, you may return to either shore and summon me with that. Thanks, hulking lungfish. You know, you really aren't as hideous as people say. You may call me now by my true name, Rasputin. The name given to me by my people. And what name is that, noble lake creature? Linda. What a magical lady.
Huh? Who are you working for? What? Uh... I'm with the Psychonauts. The who? Oh, that doesn't fit in. That doesn't fit in at all. Maybe I've got this all wrong. Oh, okay, okay, but... Yeah! Not another tracking device! Perfect, isn't it? Yes. Almost complete. Just a few missing pieces. Yes, now which piece talks about the milkman? The one who opens the asylum gate? But it's all about the milkman. Can't you see? Is this like one of those 3D paintings? I can never do those. No, you just gotta learn to see it like I see it. There's something in the fridge that might help you see the world, like I do. Ooh, sorry, um, I don't drink. Before noon, I mean. The milkman's dead? Ah, oh, crud. Burned up in a department store fire. Didn't you hear? At least, that's what the media would have you believe. Is he dead or not? Go to the graveyard. Dig him up. Oh, you'll find something all right. But it's neither man nor milk. Now, how am I going to find some creepy graveyard in this nice, normal neighborhood? What were you doing in the cemetery? Are you a grieving widow? Where are your flowers? What did you find in the mausoleum? Who is the milkman? That book you found was dynamite! Blows the whole thing wide open. It does? Yes, I knew it. I was completely wrong about everything, but now I've got it. That book came from the book depository. They must want to make us think that's where they want us to go. Because they think, we'll think, we know they know we know. So we won't go. So I shouldn't go to the book depository? Of course you're going to the book depository. Take the sewers. Watch out for watchers and radioactives and perpetrators. Some of those sewer workers are involved, I think. You'll need one of these. Now we're talking. It's fake. It will help you fit in around the other assassins. Assassins? Wait a second. Beware the cows! Not all milk is enriched! Freeze! Don't come any closer. I'll never tell you the location of the milkman. Never! Okay, let's all just settle down and talk... Ah! Where is the milkman? Who is the milkman? What is the mission of the Milkman? Uh, come closer. <coughs> and <coughs> I'll, I'll tell you. <coughs> Glad I never bought any of those. Hmm. The view from up here is pretty good, but I still can't see enough. I need a way to get even higher. Like super high. As if I were flying. I know. Maybe I could find some stilts. Aha! Oh, hello there. Have you come to pay for your rainbow treats? We knew you would. Won't you join us in our rainbow squirt pledge of purpose? To promote niceness. To make the world prettier. To share candy with everyone. To obfuscate the true nature of the milkman. To protect the milkman at all costs. You brought them here! To destroy all who would harm the milkman. 
Let's threaten, 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 threaten to reveal the objective. secret objective. Go, girls! Protect the milk! Aida! Do not follow! The milk is not ready, and you are not ready for the milk! you not to follow. Now you must die! But that is the way of the rainbow squirts! What have you done? He wakes! I am the milkman. My milk is delicious. And the sea shall run white. <laughs> His rage! I am the milkman. My milk is delicious. Special delivery today! I am the milkman. My milk is delicious. Boyd? Are you okay? Time for the final delivery to this address. Hey, is that milk regular kind? Or the exploding dream kind? It's fortified with what the world wants. What the world deserves. Are you sure you don't want to just talk about this, Boyd? You're the only one left, son. Can't even make a connection with Sasha or Mia right now for some reason. Sasha said he had some official Psychonauts business. Impossible. I would know it if they did. No, something's happened to them. Rasputin, listen. You're the only one who can stop Oleander now. What about you? I... I can't leave this cave, Rasputin. Not as the Ford Crawler you know. What? Why? Years ago, I was in a terrible psychic duel that left me barely alive. Yeah, I read about that. They said your psyche was shattered, that you lost your mind. But you seem fine to me. Yes, when I'm down here, near the Citanium Motherlode, the concentrated power of the Citanium pulls my thoughts together, keeps me like my old self. But if I leave the sanctuary, my psyche becomes disjointed, and I fall into one of my other personalities, with no memory of who I really am. I'd be no use to you unless you needed something raked or, or mopped. Well, you can call headquarters and get help. The Psychonauts won't listen to me. They wrote me off as a loon years ago. That's why Sasha and Mia have to take on all my missions. Headquarters doesn't know I'm the one behind the assignment, so they'd never get approved. But Sash and Mia seem to be out of commission now. You have to be my field agent, Rasputin. Are you ready? Yes. Good. You have to find where that monster took the girl. And if you locate any of the other children's brains along the way, bring them back to me for recranialization. Understand? Ew. I mean, yes, sir. I've reviewed your chart, little girl, and the bad news is we're going to have to remove your brain. Strap it into an armored battle tank and make it shoot down innocent civilians with its concentrated psychic death beam! I'm going to kill you so much! 
The good news is that your insurance is going to cover the whole thing. So, hey, is it getting warm in here? No. I'm just trying to set you on fire through this stupid hat. What a delightfully mean little brain you have. Just what we want. Here, do me a favor. Tell me if you think this smells like... You're doomed! <laughs> I can't smell anything. Curses! <laughs> uh, you're a stubborn little ball of flame, ain't ya? Well, that head cold won't protect you forever, little girl. And when it's gone, you'll be sneezing a different tune. A tune in the key of... brains. <laughs> Thank you, all of you. You're all so kind. You make a girl so happy. You found my old trophy. I should really put that thing away before somebody hurts themselves on that gleaming metal claw-like part on the top. Say, would you like to hear the story of how I won that award, dear boy? Or are you trying to take it because you don't think I deserve it? No, no, you deserve it. I didn't take anything from you. I didn't ask to be famous. I just wanted you to love me. Hey. What? You're supposed to be dead! Ah! Oh, if you don't like the performance, a simple boo will do. Trying to produce a play here? Uh, no. Oh, God. Even a child can see I've lost control of this production. Okay, Becky. Get a grip. Child? Look, kid. It wasn't always like this. We used to have a hit show on our hands. Everybody loved us. But then our big star, Bonita Soleil, got stage fright and locked herself in her dressing room. So now we're stuck flipping between sunshine shenanigans and the horror of Hagatha Home. Oh. Which is like flipping between a root canal and a sharp stick in the eye. Just ignore Jasper. He's just a critic who happens to be right. I'll go talk to Benita. I'm sure all she needs is a little pep talk. That and acting lessons. You can get Benita to take the stage again. Then you're the star of my show, kid. Excuse me, Miss Soleil. I heard you were feeling bad, so I just wanted to say that whatever you're going through, you're not alone. I used to be a performer myself, and I know how hard it is when... Kid, can't you see I'm trying to have a moment here? <laughs> Sorry. I was looking for Bonita Soleil. You mean the personal muse of Gloria Von Guten, her inner sunshine? The spirit of her youth, yes. That's me. What do you want? An autograph? I'm kind of busy here. They need you on stage right away for your big number. Am I not playing this right or something? I'm drowning in a quagmire of self-pity. Why aren't you getting that? Should I be doing more with my hands? So, you're not going out on stage? Have you seen any of the plays we put on here? Those god-awful slices of Gloria's terrible life? How am I supposed to bring light to those? Listen, the burden of being the only sunshine in this theater is just too much for one beautiful, glowing, inspirational muse to bear, you know? <laughs> So, who's that crying? Oh, sorry. Hey, can we kill the waterworks for a second? Thanks. It's a recording. It helps me focus. Is there any way I can get you to take the stage? For the fans? If you can get me some help out there so I'm not the only light on the set. I'll turn on a spotlight. Uh, that could work. But you'll need a candle. Uh, I think there might be a spare in the storeroom. If you can get a candle into a spotlight and light it, I'll come out and give the show one last try. But I'm not promising anything. I'll leave you alone now. I know you have a lot of crying to do. Thank you. Now where was I? 
Look alive, people! Bonita Soleil is about to take the stage! Flower girls, in position one. And action! Tonight, I will be playing the part of Gloria Von Guten, the famous actress! In this nostalgic memory of her breakthrough role in the smash hit musical... Sunshine Shenanigans! Yay! Woo! <laughs> Without her muse, her inner sunshine, the spirit of her youth, play tonight once again by Lolita Soleil. Oh, I do so hope that my mother is proud of me. Not again, <gasps> the Phantom. I've seen some bad plays in my day, but this one's an actual menace, and it's all her fault. It's her bad acting that makes the Phantom strike. <laughs> this time, I'm going to file a formal complaint and get this theater shut down. Great. Well, I'm off to go kill myself. You know, you could be a more constructive critic. Kid, if you want to see a good play, come talk to me. I've got a script here that'll knock them dead, I promise. Hey! Whoa, 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 whoa! Careful! That's the manual mood override. That's how we set the right mood for the play. Mess with that, and we'll have happy plays on sad sets, sad plays on happy sets. Total chaos. Or worse. Improv. So whatever you do, don't mess with the manual mood override unless you want to see some strange stuff happen. I think Becky's not telling me the whole story. Hey, you said that if Benita performed, everything would be okay. Okay, so I left out the part about the deadly phantom. I thought you'd chicken out. Ma'am, I'm a psychonaut. Just show me how to get up to those catwalks he hides out in and... Sorry, no way up there. Well... There was this one play. We would lower this prop hot air balloon down from the catwalks and then pull it back up again. If you find it, or any other play for crying out loud, just bring it to me and I'll run the actors through it. We're so desperate for new material around here. Hey, can you help me get up to the catwalk so I can fight that phantom? <laughs> ah! Can't get there from here! <laughs> I mean, unless you did that one particular play on that one particular set. Oh, but what am I saying? That's almost impossible! Forget about it. The theater is doomed. Hey, why do you have to be so hard on Benita? I'm trying to save you from that mysterious phantom character. He only attacks when Bonita performs. If we got rid of Little Miss Sunshine, we'd all be safer now, wouldn't we? I'm only thinking of the children. Bonita's just trying to lighten things up around here. Ah! I've seen better shines on a shoe! She should quit now while she can still get a job as a nightlight. If you hate the show so much, why don't you just leave? Oh, I can't stop looking at it. It's like the sight of a horrible car accident. A car accident where the victims can't act and the paramedics forget their lines. If you can't say something nice, don't say anything at all. The young boy's protests, though heartfelt, quickly lapsed into simplistic and tedious platitudes. One and a half stars. Later, you old gas bag. Listen, this play just stinks. Here, try this one instead. This play has some action in it, some zing. Wow, thanks. Are you actually being nice? No, I'm just trying to keep myself halfway entertained. Go, give that to Becky and see if she can't find some actors to ruin it. Glory 
Aya, my daughter. I only live to make you happy. We are so lucky to be together again so that I could share it all with you. And also that you are not even jealous of my youth and fame, though my star has risen so much faster and grown so much bigger than that of yours, which has so quickly faded. Yes! Hey, what's this? A new script? Night of Joy. Weird. It smells like popcorn and it doesn't say which set to play it on. Oh well, we'll just play it on whatever's on stage. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? <sighs> Here, you can be my first AD. Use the megaphone if you want to run the play again. Okay, new script, everybody. Let's practice. And action! Mother, mother, tell me true of the dad I never knew. He was brave in thought and deed. Can't you hear his mighty steed? Wow! Huzzah, forsooth! What is thine sweet smell in the air? Let us spin and be happy, entwined in this pole of love, forever young and twisty. Rejoice, for spring has beset in upon ourselves, and the spirit of May is a lingering! Ha ha! Welcome to Haggath the Home School for Girls, where you will begin your long and painful training in the theatrical disciplines. Ha ha ha! But I don't want to study theater. I want my mom to come take me home right now. Your mom has a career and a boyfriend to think about. She doesn't have time for an ugly little girl like you. There is nothing more tedious than the tears of an unlovable child. It's time to suffer for your art. Wherefore art thou, O elusive male boat? How I yearn for the shores of my loneliness to be creased by your sturdy keel! The mail boat ain't coming for you, girly. The mail boat may never come, but I think I see the mail train approach it through yon tunnel. Mail train? Yay! Surely it bears to me a letter from my dear mother who abandoned me at this school for girls so long ago. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! Tis a dragon indeed. You have been fooled and burned. Outstanding. Oh, another script? The day the mailboat finally came? Uh-oh. Prop department, I'm gonna need a boat on stage right away. Okay, people. Places, everyone. 
And action. I say, I believe I do see the mail, but approaching. Oh, it was never a vessel more beautiful and resplendified. Sorry, no mail for you, ugly girl. Goodbye, Hagatha Home. Hey, I, I think this is the one with the... Hey, Props, is that hot air balloon still working? Let's hustle, people. It's showtime. That means you too, kid. You gotta hustle onto that balloon if you want to get up to the catwalks. And... action! in this set. No rats. Well, uh, let's just run around happily and maybe no one will notice. Oh, sorry. Whatever is wrong, little girl? Don't worry. I'm sure they'll come for you and you'll never have to think of that bad place again, ever. Hey, you're right. I think I see them now. Hello, my dear beloved daughter. We have come back for you. Please come with us and be happy and never think of this terrible, terrible place again. Yay! The end. How dare you violate the sanctuary of the Phantom? Stop, or your next step will be your last. Cruel sunlight. Anything but that. No oh, treacherous child. You shall pay for angering. Nothing. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Now just stay put so I can come punch and unmask you. <laughs> okay, Phantom. It's time to find out who you really are. What? I totally guessed that. Uh-uh, you said it was Becky. Okay, the jig is up, Phantom. What? Why, I never... How dare you accuse me of being the rugged and romantic scoundrel that has thrilled and terrified audiences for years? Yeah, I guess you're right. He's so agile and limber and thin. He could never be you. Why, you? Of course it's me! Well, it's time to hang up the cape, Tubbs, because your days of terrorizing the theater as the Phantom are over. Maybe as the Phantom, but he's nothing compared to the full destructive force of an angry critic! Ha ha ha! How can I say this and still sound cool? Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me? Can't you take 
a little criticism. And where would Gloria be without her muse? Her inner sunshine. The spirit of her youth. Played tonight, once again, by Bonita Solange. is on the run. This is our moment of glory. Oh, shut up, you loon. The battle can't be won. We're gonna lose it. I'm afraid you lost it years ago, Fred. Now pipe down over there. I am the orderly, and I run a quiet, peaceful, insane asylum. Understood? <laughs> oh, now, see? You've disrupted Mr. Tagley's art therapy session. Ha <laughs> ha! de gloire est arrivé! Whatever. Upon this. Greetings, Dr. Lobotto. Up to the secret laboratory, then, is it? One moment. You're not Dr. Lobotto. My eyes may be half gone, but I would recognize the mad doctor anywhere. He's got that stone-cold face a man doesn't easily forget. He wears a beastly smock covered in thick straps like an electric chair. And in the place where his hand should be, there's nothing but a gleaming metal claw. So if I'm not mistaken, you're not Dr. Roboto, you don't pay my salary, so kindly back away from my elevator and die. Thank you, sir. Excuse me, sir? My name is Napoleon Bonaparte. Oh, uh, excuse me. Mr. Bonaparte. Shh. I only think I'm Napoleon Bonaparte. Do not listen to the weakling. He denies his lineage because he feels it. I like your jacket. Very strappy. You want it? You can have it. Just help me undo these buckles in the back and I'll... Can... What are you doing? The uniform of this army is sacred! We shall wear it proudly until the battle is over. Help me! Sacre bleu! I have been hit! found my super valuable rare coin. Yeah. Can I have it? Knock yourself out. I got enough memories of my dumb ancestors hanging around. Uh. Who's winning? Nobody's winning. Want to know who's losing? The Bonaparte family name. Look, I forfeit, okay? You win. Napoleon Bonaparte wins again. Is that the real Napoleon Bonaparte? I mean, the imaginary real Napoleon Bonaparte? Yeah, I'm actually related to him. Can you believe it? Shut up! Stop telling people that simple fact. I don't even want to be here. But when this sad excuse for a Bonaparte lost a simple game of war to a feeble-minded invalid, I just could not take it anymore. I was forced to take control, and I will stay in control until I beat the love of victory into this degenerate swine who dares to call himself a Bonaparte. 
No, really, great, great, great grandpa Napoleon, I do love victory, like, a ton. I love it so much, you can go now, I swear. Y'all move! What's this? My lazy opponent is actually trying to win? He has sent in reinforcements. Well, well. Then let the game truly begin. Send in my best soldier. You! Destroy that bridge! For France! For France? I hate your stupid bridge. This is how much I hate you! Ha <laughs> ha! Suck on that bridge! Ah, yes. Now I shall go torment this poor peasant over here. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh man, now look. The bridge is broken and I can't move my pieces past it anymore. I quit. Napoleon, you win. No, we don't forfeit. We're gonna beat you, Mr. Genetic Memory of Napoleon Bonaparte. Haha, <laughs> I like your je ne sais quoi, your joie de vivre. Maybe you will teach my long-legged nincompoop a lesson, eh? <laughs> Hello. Hello in there. Any carpenters home? Go away, burglar. I'm not a burglar. I'm a recruiter for Fred Bonaparte's army. We're a little light in our corps of engineers, see? Listen, I know you're a burglar. I've been listening to your footsteps on my roof all night trying to break in. Why don't you just slide down the chimney? I got a nice fire going for you in here, Mr. Burglar. Okay, if I'm a burglar, then how can I be down here talking to you and up on the roof at the same time? Maybe you're a ventriloquist. Listen, if I go see what's up on your roof and take care of it, will you come out and help fight Napoleon? <laughs> Maybe. Good enough. Hello, I'm recruiting for the army of Fred Bonaparte and... Go away! Fred Bonaparte has forgotten the people, and we have forgotten him! What? Fred loves the people. He was just telling me that some of his best friends are... um. The people. He has abandoned us. He doesn't care if we live or die. Look, I'll tell you what. I'll talk to Fred. I'll talk to him. And I'll prove to you that he cares about the common man. And that the fight is not meaningless. I'll believe it when I hear it from him. Hey, Fred. The problem is people think you don't care. What? I care? Then lead them to victory, Milky Toast. Shut up. They think you don't care if they live or die. What do they want from me? A notice on my official stationery that says I'd be sad if they died? Yep. Huh. Well, if that doesn't work... Let me guess. You give up? Bingo! Ha! Another game at which I would surely defeat you. Hey, you take that little victory if you need it, tiny man. Hey, I have an important message from your fearless leader. Oh my god, he does care, he does! I knew it, Fred Bonaparte is the greatest leader of all time! I can't wait to die for his cause. Well, you might not die. You might win. Hey, he's a great leader, but he's still Fred. Okay. Hurl my innocent bones into the cruel machine of war. I'm ready. Hello? Sorry, I can't storm Napoleon's stronghold today. Too weak. Oh, okay. Want me to call a doctor? No, I'm not sick. I just can't find any decent food around here. An army moves on its stomach, you know. An elite force such as I require an elite cuisine, I'm afraid. Oh, well, I'll keep on the lookout for some place with good takeout. Only the best, young lad. I am a Frenchman, and anything but the finest French delicacy might bruise my palate and leave me unable to storm anything, save the vomitorium. Ew. Ah! Ah! Take that! Die! Ah! I kill you! Sacre bleu! I cannot believe it, Fred! You have accidentally done something right! I have? Yes, but I'm afraid it's still not enough. More manpower! Ah, oh, mon dieu! 
I hit bridges! Ah! That is for getting my father, Bridge! Hey, stop killing my bridges! You're making me mad! Oh, now who went and broke my beautiful bridge? Don't worry, darling. We'll get you fixed up good as new in no time. Man, I am good. Mm. Charge! <laughs> Delicious! I haven't had escargot like that since the Duchess's birthday. But even those were not so full of spirit. I am truly inspired. Come, let us storm Napoleon's stronghold and win this game for Fred Bonaparte. But do hurry. I believe I may be hungry again soon. Die! I kill you! Haha! <laughs> not bad, Fred. What? What I do? You're doing better than usual, and I hate to end the fun, but I guess it's time to put an end to this, as usual. Guard the bridge to the stronghold with your life! None shall pass! Hello! I'm recruiting soldiers for the army of the caring and generous Fred Bonaparte. Weapon! What? Weapon. That's what I want. I'm not gonna die like the others, okay? That's the spirit! You get me my special musket, and I'll come out. I think I left it buried in some hay in that heavily guarded building over there. Then I'll sign up and kill me some Napoleon lovers, got it? Be right back! Okay, there's your special musket. Ready? All right, now I'm all set to go rob that stupid carpenter. What? I got you that gun so you could fight Napoleon's army, not the carpenter. I've been trying to break into his house for days now, but he's always got a fire going, so I can't get down his chimney. Well, could you just fight this one lousy soldier first? He's kind of in the way anyway. Okay, but just as practice. Where is he? Cool musket, huh? Oh, wait! Have to reload here! Die! Duh! I kill you! But I... How? Retreat! Everyone into the stronghold! Rise the drawbridge! Immediately! Jam the mechanism with something! Anything! Hey! You can't jam the gears! That's cheating! All is fair in love and war! You have fought well! But that is far as you shall go, my friend. Ha! We'll see about that. Fred? Was that you? Yeah! Come on! We're winning! All we have to do is unjam those gears. I'm on it, General. <laughs> Your walls are no thicker than the crust of a creme brulee. Behold the mighty tapping of my spoon. What? What is this? Fred! Did you do this? Huh? What? I can't believe it! You! You are a Bonaparte! There is some Napoleon in your veins after all! Well, m maybe. Finally! I can resign myself back to my glorious history. The future is yours, Fred Bonaparte. You are indeed a true warrior. Go forth and fight all your battles with the same determination you showed here, and your life will be an endless parade of victories, like mine. Yes, well, except for that last one, the one in Waterloo. Mm, I was sick that day. Very bad stomach cramp, let me tell you. That's why I've always got my hand tucked in here, you know? <laughs> You'll find out when you're older. It's uh, hereditary. Is he really gone? Hello? Hello? Anyone else in here? Ha! We did it, Raz! I'm all me again. One person. Not French.
Get me out of this dang jacket so I can go strangle me in orderly. Hey, good thinking, Fred. That sure would save me a lot of work. Yep. Right after I take a nap. Yes. Uh, what? Nap? <sighs> War is hell, Rasputin. And I am sleepy. Uh, I'll take care of Crispin for you. Just as soon as I... I, uh... Oh, man. What you painting there? That is my patron, my psychiatrist, my warden. Looks like Dr. Lobato to me. Is he the one who chained you up? The doctor won't let me go until I complete my treatment. So why don't you just finish the painting and go home? Why don't I just... See? Sometimes you just have to... Huh. You painted a bullfight over the doctor's face. Why a bullfight? Huh? Huh? Edgar, why do you... Every time! Every time it is the same! The matador! The bull! How I despise you both! But my hands won't let you go. Ah! That is why I am here, chained in more ways than you can see. A prisoner of art. A prisoner of art. Well, uh, I'm gonna go downstairs. You good? I'm good. Hey, how's that painting of Dr. Lobato coming along? You know, I'll deliver it for you as soon as it's finished. Silence! I am conceptualizing. What is this? Are you working on an abstract piece? Nice use of color. of House of Cards you're building there. And still, not high enough to reach the sky and free her from her prison. Who is she? I only know that she is beautiful, perfect, and sad. All day she cries rose petal tears, and I can do nothing to help her because my creation lacks something, and it will not stand against the bull. What bull? El. Audio. Somewhere along the way, I feel that I lost something important, but I do not know. I think it's your queens. You want me to go look for them? Bring me any cards you find. I must complete this tower. Yes. God, are you all right? Poor little guy. Hmm, little nick on the frame. Uh... Maybe I can cover that up with a price tag or something. Hey, have you seen any really big playing cards around here? Now that takes me back. 
poker night with the guys. Man, I miss those dogs. Uh huh. So the cards? You know where they are? Oh, right. Well, I do know about these four lost queens. But that's all. Can't do much with four queens, can you? Those are exactly the cards I need. Where are they? Forget about it. They're guarded by some pretty nasty characters. Not to mention El Odio. You're better off just hanging out here and turning your head just a teensy bit to the left. Okay, I'm off. Well, see ya. Keep off the street now. Introducing, fresh from the Thrilla in Manila, Iowa, Tiger! <laughs> Wake up, little man. Time to go nighty-night. I am awake. Good. Because it is bedtime for you, snack size. What are you talking about? You will fight me for my card, yes? Well, I am looking for some cards. Then, small fry, I am afraid the Sandman is going to have to bend way over to reach you because you are so awfully itty bitty. And then. All right, I get it. Just shut up and let's go. Then I will shut up, but only so I can enjoy the microscopic spectacle of your attempts to make me shut up. Introducing, fresh from an astonishing victory at the Killings in Billings, Dragon! <laughs> Smell. That smells like fear, boy! Yeah, no, I mean that fart smell. That's fear! <sighs> no, I'm talking about an actual smell. It's like if stink bombs laid eggs and then those went bad. That's sulfur! <laughs> it's part of the dragon costume, kid. Introducing... Back from a crushing victory at someone might lose a tooth in Duluth, Eagle! <laughs> Caca! That's it? Caca! <laughs> Caca! Ah, you must be the towel boy. You want an autograph? I don't just hand those out. And that's a good lesson for you. Anticipate disappointment. Take me. I'm the greatest bullfighter who's ever lived. Yet my upcoming match against the town bull has received virtually no marketing support. A towering advertisement was supposed to have been painted just outside my window. But as you can see, the job hasn't even been started. I think that bull is trampling anyone who tries to paint on the wall. Maybe you could stop it. Hmm. So instead of challenging the bull before a stadium packed with screaming women, you want me to fight it on the street in front of one dog and one child wearing a crude towel boy disguise. That's a terrible idea. Here's a better one. You go get that billboard painted and I'll reward you handsomely. Which is how I do everything. As an advance, I'll give you one of my secret weapons. Use it if anyone gets stubborn. Next up, Junior King Kong Cobra! Hey, 
Edgar. Nice headgear, freak. What? What? You suck, Tegley. You can't beat me. Coach says I can't be beat. Coach says I got mental toughness. You can't break my concentration, wimp. Hey, I'm not Edgar. Yeah? You're gonna wish you're not Edgar when I'm through. Look! I am not Edgar Tegley. My name's Raz. I'm a psychonaut. You're an idiot, Smegley. Coach says your psycho girl crazy lack of focus cost you states. Seriously, I don't want to have to hurt you. Well, since you'd have to break my concentration to even touch me, and since you can't break my concentration, I guess you won't be too disappointed then. Hey, uh, we really gotta get that billboard painted. Okay, man, here's the plan. Step one, I quit we. Step two, we, which is now just you, runs out there and gets killed painting the billboard. Maybe I can distract the bull while you paint. It's so crazy, it just might work. Or maybe it's so crazy that it's just extra crazy. There's absolutely no way I'm going out there, man. Come on, you're a bulldog. Show some backbone. Plus, who wants to go for a walk? Who wants to go for a walk? Stupid dog. Brain. All right, let's go. Great. When I say go, boy, get moving. Oh, my God. I'm deaf. What? What? Can you hear me? You're getting sleepy, but not too sleepy to go paint the billboard. What? Oh, my God. Hey, God, his dog spelled backwards. Whoa. Oh, wait a minute. God, his cat spelled backwards. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I'm shaving just like daddy. I think I solved your problem. Watch this. I had my doubts, but... The devil cat has horns! Ah, ah. But I'm right as usual. Really nice job, genius. Now go back out there and finish the job. Hmm... It's not great. But I suppose it's just barely good enough. Come see me if you still want your reward. You know, your advice didn't work. Really? Then here's some new advice. I don't know what you're talking about. How about that reward? Fine then. One autograph. You know, my bulldog friend could still paint a beer gut on that poster out there. All right, here, take this. But I warn you, I won't be able to sign it. Here you go, Edgar. The last card. Thank you. You said you would get him, and you did. Not everyone is as true to their word, you know. Well, now you can finish your tower. Yes. Now this can all end. Once and for all. Wow. It looks like you can walk right up there now, Edgar. Edgar? Edgar! I knew you would save me someday. He just won't let me go. Tell me, how did you kill him? Kill who? El Odio. I didn't. Edgar? Where am I? Thank you for preparing the bull, my humble picador. I shall now finish this beast off easily. Edgar, listen! There is no Elodio, no Lampita, no Dingo! What? You can't let the Junior Varsity Pep Squad ruin your life. Um, what's up with the Junior? Yeah, we were full on Varsity. <laughs> Give me a G! G! Give me an O! o. Give me a B. They B. stole me my a happiness! Give me, give me an L. My life! Give me an the o. state L. semi-finals! Everything! Edgar! Oh, 
<laughs> he never learns. Oh no! I can't believe I stuck four of those barbed poles in his back. They're called banderillas. I gotta get those out of there and protect Edgar. If something happens to him while I'm in his mind, I'll get the boot. to hurt you anymore. Can't you just let it go? How embarrassing. I can't believe I was hung up for so long over these losers. Um, uh, uh, I always loved you more? Finny, when you deliver this to my patron, Raz, you may also hand him my farewell, for I am checking myself out of here. You have unchained my mind, young friend. So before I go, I'd like to show my gratitude by painting you a real work of art. No bull? <laughs> you make light of my mental problems, and still, I have no rage. Amazing! Greetings, Dr. Laporta. Good to see your face. I see you're wearing your favorite jacket. If I may say so, your claw is looking especially menacing today. Up to the secret laboratory then, is it? Taking her up yourself this time, eh, Doctor? Less work for me. Inmate <gasps> Whitehead. Chief Orderly Bonaparte. You're... you're... Armed. <laughs> Well, here I am, up in the tower of an abandoned insane asylum, wearing a straitjacket, talking to myself. Okay, enough with the disguise. The things I do for Lily's brain. Well, if I'm gonna get to the top of this thing, I'd better start hiking. Worthless! These brains are worthless, Shigo. <laughs> Just like the one in your head. No, no, no. they're nice. They're, they're nice brains, Dr. Lobato. They're too nice. They won't fight. I need killers. I need angry brains. I squeeze them. I poke them. I twist them. What do I have to do to make them fight? Maybe I should try my drill. I'm not going to bring you any more brains if you're going to be so mean to them. No matter what I do? No. No matter what? Not even if I... No, don't. Oh, not even if I no, cook you a little... No, a little turtle soup? Please, Dr. Lobato, no! <laughs> a nice hot turtle soup. Mm -hmm. no! Nothing better on a cold night like this than some boiling hot soup. You leave Mr. Pokey up Oh, okay. <sighs> you sure? No! I mean, yes! <laughs> all right, all right. Oh, why don't I just go ahead and heat you up a cup? It's made of turtles. Turtles that you love. Isn't that right, Mr. Pokey Love? Okay, okay. Well, maybe I'll just make some for myself. Bring me a good brain, Shigo, or Mr. Pokey Love becomes Mr. Smokey Love. <laughs> <laughs> when you're a dentist, you have to learn to have a sense of humor, you know. It helps to calm the patients down. Listen, the man you're working for is a deranged lunatic. I know, I hate him, but if I don't do what he says, he'll, he'll 
cook your little turtle from the inside out. <coughs> Shigor, hostage situations like this are always extremely delicate. I'll have to extract Mr. Pokelope from his prison using my psychic powers. After which, this Lobato character should be fairly trivial to neutralize. Yes, because once we get Mr. Pokelope back, he'll tell us what to do. He always tells me what to do. Yes? Sasha! Mia! Lily! Raz! You came! Of course I did. We gotta get you out of here! Look! The coach must have lured Sasha and Mia here on official Psychonauts business and then ambushed them with sneezing powder. They're completely brainless. I know. I saw their brains downstairs. Listen, first things first. I was thinking about what you said about us making out. Yeah? Oh man, I'm so glad he showed up. I was just starting to feel slightly less phlegmy. Wait, he didn't just hear. Get away from me! Stop reading my mind! Go rebrain Sasha and Mia so they can help us break this lock! That's right, baby. Daddy's here. Everything's gonna be all right. Now, here's what we're gonna do. get to it right after I'm done with this experiment. Okay. Don't worry, baby. Just make sure I get put in that old tank, and Daddy will take care of business. I can't watch! It's time to make the soup. and easy. <laughs> You're so funny, Mr. Pokelope. Someone's got chocolate bread. Someone does. But Rasputin, recranialization of an adult brain without surgery... That's a very advanced procedure. How did you know how to do it? Well, I've studied it a little. But Shigor here? knows more about handling brains than anyone I've ever met. Really? You know I've been thinking about getting a lab assistant. Shigor, darling, do you know where all of the other children's brains are? Well, if you can lead us to them, we can bring them back to their owners immediately. Ahem! Immediately after we break young Miss Zanato here out of her restraints. Coach Oleander's gonna burn. At least he never got inside your brain. It's gonna take me weeks to get my rhythm back. Rasputin, you have surprised us yet again. I cannot thank you enough for what you've done. Hey, hey, all in a day's work for a psychonaut. <laughs> well, psy cadet, you mean. Hey, the psychonauts should be so lucky to get someone like Raz. The brain he's got in there is... one in a million. Thanks to all of you for bringing it straight to my door! <gasps> Oleander! You! 
You took all my friends' brains. You turned an innocent fish into a giant monster. You stole all the teachers, derailing my education. And you kidnapped my girlfriend. Rasputin, this fight is too big for you. Back home, I had to clean up after the elephants. So trust me, I know how to take care of this ugly little pile of... Kids, let the grown-ups handle this. You tall people! Sasha! He gets to kill him too! Ah. Well, it's official. The genius is back. Time to go get ready for my gallery show. Uh-oh. This looks bad. Ah, well, that's good. Someone must have turned off the gas long ago. Oh, here's what my poor flowers need. A little water. Oh, no. I spilled all my turpentine and acetone. Boy, long time no see. Oh, Mr. Orderly, <laughs> I did not see you there. I was just taking a little therapeutic walk in the moonlight. Relax, the asylum's closed. We can all go home. Leave? Here? Yeah, this place is for crazy people. And I don't know about you, but I ain't crazy no more. I have to tell you, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. You know... Maybe it is time for us all to move on. What do you think, Boyd? You ready to blow this popsicle stand? The milkman has completed his route. You guys want to split a cab? The crib wasn't even that clean. I mean, what do I have to do to get those guys to take me seriously? When are you going to shut up and kiss me? Um, I can hear that. I know. Surrender! Never! Psychonauts have a word for people who turn on their own. Ha! I don't need the Psychonauts anymore. I'm making my own army. Got a word for that? Yeah. Gesundheit! Huh? Ah! 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 Wow. Wow. For that one. Always in such a rush, Rasputin. It takes years before you're ready for combat of that magnitude. Well, you'd be surprised, Nine. This one's been acing all my extra credit exams. I beat the coach once already, and I can do it again. Darling, that was just a remote projection of the coach. He wasn't as strong as he would be if he were to appear in the real world. 
Heavy. <laughs> Heavy. Where's his brain? Oh, probably stuck in one of his plans to take over the world somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> How's the weather down there? Ah, finally! Alone at last, eh, Rasputin? Glad you're finally picking on someone your own size. Yes, I've been dying for a chance to pick your brain! Two can play that game. Yeah. But only one can win! <laughs> Super! Sneezing! Powder! Ugh. Try not to sneeze! Half to hold it in. TV. TV. Oh, this is just great. Now what am I going to do? Have to think. <laughs> like I got a choice. My name's Marcel Oleander, but you can call me Mori or Oli. Coach Oleander? What are you doing in my mind? How did you get in my happy meadow? Nobody's supposed to know about it. You didn't tell my dad about it, did you? <laughs> Okay, the circus I remember from my childhood was definitely not made of meat, the last time I checked. No! No! Little buddy, don't go in there! That's a bad place! That's a bad place for bunnies! You gotta help me save the bunny! If he just hold still, I could catch him and hide him from my dad! He runs a butcher shop. He wants to make food out of them. That's right. Mari's old man was a butcher. It looks like your childhood memories of the circus got all mixed up with his childhood memories of his dad's butcher shop. My memories were bad enough. This is just gross. Uh-oh. You'd better keep that kid out of trouble. With your brains all scrambled like this, what happens to him happens to you. Okay, those monsters are gone now. The bunnies are safe. We're all safe. No, it's not safe. He's coming. Who's coming? My dad. Your dad? The butcher? He says little bunnies are good for nothing. Nothing but food. Here, little bunnies. Ah! Don't run or else daddy's gonna kill you. on here. What have you done to our circus? Dad! Polluted. Perverted. This looks like the work of mentalists. I can explain. Have you been associating with psychics? Dad, I... Psychics. 
fortune tellers. They killed your grandfather. They cursed our entire family to die in water. Yes, but... Including you, Rasputin. And me. But I'm going to live. You know why? Because I'm still an acrobat. Let's see if you are. What's it going to be, son? Die in the water? Or show me what you got? Dad, I made it! You cheated! No! I used the acrobatics you taught me! Don't lie to me, cheater! You crystal ball readers always cheat! You're no son of mine! Oli, are you okay? Where's your dad? He's over there, talking to your dad! He did what?! Uh-oh. Somebody's going to get grounded! Make that ground! <laughs> Rasputin! I see your skull is as hard to penetrate as ever. Dad! What is your brain doing out here in this tank with this other brain? And who are all these unconscious people? What have you gotten yourself involved with, psychics? He's been cavorting with filthy, cheating psychics! Is that really... Is that really how I look in your mind? Man, do I hate psychics. And seeing my son happy. I don't hate psychics. I used my psychic connection with you to find you, and to project myself into your mind. But how can you hate me for being psychic if you're psychic too? Son, I could never hate you. I only wanted you to be happy, Rasputin. And safe. Our family has many enemies. <laughs> a lot more hair than that. Now, son, we have to carefully unweave your psyche from that other brain. We don't want anything bad to happen while your mind is in this tangled state. The damage could be permanent. Unweave? Detangle? Never! I like it this way. I mean, look at how huge I am! And I think I can juggle now! <laughs> this is your mind, so you are the strong one here. But I'm about to give you, my son. You must take care of it, because it's everything I've got. Where's he going? 
We're separating the brains now, Rasputin. He'll be fine. Let's go inside. Man, I can't wait to tell you about all the messed up stuff that happened. Oh, I know a lot of it. While you were out, I poked around a bit. Tell me about this lily person. Hey! And so, that brings us to the end. Where, as you can clearly see, the personal demons causing my negative behavior have all been eradicated, leaving me sane once again. This is also corroborated in CAT scan number three on page 59 of your handouts. On a personal note, I would just like to reiterate how extremely, extremely sorry I am for stealing all of your brains and trying to take over the world. Mistakes have been made, but this camp is all about education. And I know I, for one, learned plenty. Thanks to that guy right there. Come on up here, Raz. We endeavor to build strong minds here, with the power to lift things, to see things, to burn things. But it's a special quality of your heart, not your mind, that truly makes a great psychonaut. This young man has it. We did not give it to him. He got it from someone else, long before he came here. But we can give him this, to honor his mind, his courage, and his heart. Son, we do not normally ask this of someone so young, but it is obvious to us all that you are not average. Will you join us, Rasputin? Will you be a psychonaut? <gasps> perfectly clear about this. That was the best summer of my whole entire life. Hey, the summer's not over yet. We can hang out for a couple of weeks still. My family's out on the East Coast. Where's yours? They move around a lot. Hmm. Well, you'd better go. Your dad's waiting for you. Um, well... Bye. Children, it's an emergency. There's been another kidnapping. I was here the whole time. You saw me. No, this time we know who it is, and that's what scares us. Who was kidnapped? Truman Zanotto, the grand head of the Psychonauts. Dad! Sir, can you teleport this many of us back to headquarters? Huh? What? Hey, hey, what are you people doing in my kitchen? Now get! Guess we're taking the jet. Don't worry about your dad, darling. We'll get him back. Yes, after all, we'll have Rasputin helping us. I'm going? Now how could we do this without our anti-kidnapping specialist? I've taught you everything I can, son. Now, you go show them. Show them all. Let's go. Thank you. 